Hey, you know what else is great about Italy? Huh? Their wine. It's National Wine and Cheese Day. Stephanie Miskew, certified sommelier and author of The Glamorous Gourmet, is back to help us celebrate with some essential pairing principles. You always think yes. economics 101, but this yes. is pairing principles yes. 101. Yes, pairing principles 101. Love exactly. it. Exactly. So where do we start? Because you make this look so nice, so flawless. Thank you. It's my job. I have to. <laughs> well, you're, you're good at it. <laughs> Thank you so much. But really, I know people can think it could get overwhelming. Sure. Just start with something you love, whether okay. it's the wine, whether it's the cheese. Start there and then work out from there because then, then you, you know out. you're going to have something you love already. And you don't mind eating or drinking right, it. Right, exactly. Pairing principles, what are the most helpful yes. tips? So I've got four pairing principles that are really going to simplify it for people at home that can create magical pairings of their own. Okay, take us through. So first, you want to match the weight of the wine and the cheese. Kind of like with food, you don't want either one to blow the other out of the water Ooh, or overwhelm so nice the balance. other one. Yeah, you want to find that balance. Okay. And to demonstrate, I have a beautiful Cuvesson estate-grown Chardonnay from right the Napa here. Valley. Valley. It's a full-bodied white, mm. it's rich, it's lush, and you know, it, it's got some body to it. So it. to pair with it, everyone's favorite brie. Brie is luscious How can and you delicious. Not like and brie? It, yeah, right? And it's a really it's a match of two kind of voluptuous, fuller-bodied things that really create a beautiful synergy okay. together. Pairing number yes. one. Pairing number one, and that pairing number two is you want to pair uh, cheese and wine with similar flavors. You don't have to get too matchy-matchy, but pick like one note or two, one or two notes that in the wine. That you can kind of pick up off. Yeah, and then match okay. that in the cheese. So to demonstrate that, I have the beautiful Schramsberg Blanc de Noir sparkling wine from California. It's got beautiful notes of apricot citrus and a I'm beautiful nuttiness. Yeah. And that is mm -hmm. uh, mirrored beautifully in the Conte cheese, mm. a French semi-hard cow's milk cheese. Also have, has beautiful notes of apricot and that nuttiness, and the two are just fantastic. I could just stop right here and yeah, be fine, <laughs> but we won't. We'll go it's on to pairing it's number hard, three. That's phenomenal. You. And then our third one, and I only have one red today because people think red wine pairs with all cheese, and it, it doesn't. It's actually the hardest wine to pair with cheese. Really? So red wines really sing with, um, red wines sing with hard cheeses. The concentrated flavors of the cheese, because they've been aged longer, can really stand up to the tannins and flavor in the red wine. And I also like, if it grows together, it goes together, right? So people think, Very where do nice I start? Thing, yeah. You have the beautiful Felsina, Chianti Classico Reserva, a single vineyard Chianti from Tuscany, and then the Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Love. That is just a beautiful match, and again, that's a good place to go. If I'll remember that. If it grows together, together, it goes, it goes together. together. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, and then our final pairing principle, we're going to kind of flip it and reverse it sure. with this one. Pair cheese and wine with opposite flavors. This, okay. I think, is my personal favorite. So if you like, if you're a fan of sweet and salty, like of kettle corn, like I am, this is the pairing for you. I have a beautiful, um, voluptuous Chateau Doisy Vedrine Sauterne. It's a sweet, luscious, viscous dessert wine from Bordeaux with a blue cheese. Kettle a corn creamy, and wine. Sounds like yeah, a perfect end of the day. It's sweet and to salty, me. <laughs> delicious, and the tangy, salty blue cheese in that, and yeah. the, the Sauterne go beautifully Love together. It. Anything else that she would recommend to maybe enhance your yeah, whole experience? Yeah, and I think your opportunity to boost those pairings comes in like your snacks you put on the tray too. Like the nutty element, we can put Love some that. beautiful Marcona almonds. And with I thought the what you did that the, was neat, the yeah. honey. Oh, and honey on the brie with the sweet sauterne. Done. It just takes it to Done. another level. It's right. delicious. Yeah. You always blow Can our minds. Oh, Stephanie thank Miskew, thank thanks so much. Nice to see you. Nice oh, to cheers. see you and cheers. Happy National you Cheese too. and Wine Day. John, cheers to you. Happy National cheers, Cheese and Wine Day. <laughs> I feel left out. I've got nothing to cheers with. Save me some.